you can say things you don't make things the concept the ideas the history or background i think i was hardly 10 or 11 year old when i saw nayasa going for a watercolor painting which is very famous now the taj mahal surrounded by the most of the archaeological uh, monuments historical building the entire heritage of india in one frame in one expression and what a delicate watercolor it was so it was happening right in front of me at the age of 11 or 12 so i was inspired by that process and um, i think i had a good free hand drawing since that age so without being uh, into any confusion i kept going subconsciously into that direction of creative process of life luckily i joined nca and there too i was in the moment i joined nca i joined nayasa simultaneously his office was known as h khan associates at the main market gulberg i used to go there for the part time in the evening hours 2 hours 3 hours or 4 hours exercise <laughs> and other friend of us friend of nayas of rafi ramani office were there also in the main market gulberg and i used to spend some time there i used to spend some time with khaja zairuddin <clears throat> the uh, leading uh, a figure in the history of pakistani uh system of architects so for me there was no interruption in or distractions i went through uh, my process to join the esap <clears throat> after my graduation from nca luckily i did the thesis on the wall city of lahore the wall city of lahore was uh, talk of the town talk of the world talk of uh, the most of the archaeologists and architects but nobody was willing to look at that nature of detail to understand the symptoms the problems the indicators concerned with the wall city but that scale was so unique for a thesis project so i actually learned a lot by reading different uh, available architecture literature at that time for example like ecstatics and uh, this ecstatics was uh, one of the organization based in greece by doxiodorus that he was the master planner of more than 50 capital cities of the world he had the resources to employ the masters in various fields so i used to read ecstatics a lot to for the context to understand the nature of the wall city ultimately the idea was clear the uh, the wall city has its own unique indigenous place so you cannot apply any uh, kind of a formula a solution or a formula theme to the wall city of lahore 
we decided uh, in our thesis the ultimate attitude was the direction was that the character of the wall city should not be touched should not be altered or changed the idea was to preserve the entire wall city in context of the living pattern of the people of the wall city so on and on like i kept going to the naya sahab's office i kept practicing and then i was not you know concerned to think about what i am going to do or where and how <laughs> his office his organization and his nature as an artist all my friends in the nca the teachers like zaurul ikhlaq like shagir sahab like kamal khan like ijazul hasan like all they were naya sahab's colleague my colleague my friends they were sympathetic to me also understanding to me and that was probably my collective ego to enhance the values of the institution like nca the values of the people the teachers the masters in their own particular fields like amit khan if you look at the graphic design and the real master Colin David, if you look at him as an artist and as a teacher, is an unbelievable people. So I was lucky enough to be surrounded by uh, the fine arts department, Punjab University, the fine arts, textile, architecture, visual arts, graphic arts, sculpturing at the NCA, and Naya Sir is. Uh, the master of his i i feel him like a big tree under shadow of home hundreds and hundreds of craftsmen and artists and architects have enhanced their vision enhanced their experience and the courage so you at the same time he had the narang art gallery simultaneously going on for the last more than 40 years so i have this companionship of this institution of nayali dada and associates for more than 40 years by now so you can imagine the the, the blessing of the environment the blessing of the working in this conditions working with such kind of a person uh, working with the companions working with his friends and most of his clients were like once he said okay, if you give me the client like shakirli then you see the design which is very true like the good result is dependent on the nature of the client age and the nature of the people you work with so i for, for but, but, but for me the luck was that i thoroughly worked for nayasa and his ideas of uh, concept of getting work done or concepts or ideas or thinking is like where i have to kind of communicate to the minimum possible level there was something in built in my mind in my psyche that i could feel what he is going for the kind of a direction so it's a non stop since my even before my graduation from nc so i was never distracted i was never confused i was never into any other because his way of running this organization is 
almost uh, better than NCA, better than any art studio or better than any thinking spot, better than any uh, gallery, or better than any institution. This office has never been uh, pushed as a commercial identity. It has always been a circle of the thinker, circle of the poets, the circle of the writers, the artists, the architects, even his friends, the companionship. And uh, they were enough for like uh, Askari Mia Irani, uh, like uh, Sayyid Akhtar. Uh, all these people uh, uh, were around us. We used to discuss and talk to them, share the ideas, like even Gulji, like had a very close relationship and friendship with us, our institution. So I uh, was uh, kind of uh, sure that our direction it morally, the idea to to enhance the great Pakistani history, culture, and heritage, our work should uh, must uh, follow the pride of our heritage, of our history, and the learning process given to us by thousands of years of civilization. So I, I still believe that Naya Sahib has been blessed with the kind of approach to translate the tradition and history into the futuristic manner with uh, almost touching the line like the most modern building for example, Alamra cultural complex on the Mal and Gaddafi. You can see that the material, the brick, and you can see the humbleness of the local craft and local art. But the expression of the volumes, the expression of the spaces, the functional expressions of the interiors are so wonderfully sculpted together in the most uh, simple manner and I consider that an absolute an artwork. So the combination of creativity, combination of art into architecture is brought in by Naya Sap <laughs> and also like is working since we were left over by the draftsmen's of the British period and the kind of uh, was a new country foundation. We have to lay down, we have to, uh, otherwise you can see the white elephants like uh, Babda House, Edward D. Stone and you know we were enslaved by the Gora architects and their services. I think Naya Sahib has given the freedom the sense of freedom to the Pakistani architects, the Pakistani artists, the Pakistani thinking. And um, we have lot, a lot of way to go further in the future. We should, I think, like for example, this book is there for me, Mughal decorations. And I, you see the literature, you see their buildings, you see their detail work, artwork. It's unbelievable. So architecture is not for competition or comparison that Roman or Greek or Egyptian or Mughal civilization in competition with each other. They were all indigenous civilization. They were built, created and thought by their own people, their own material, their own resources. So architecture is how you deliver within your circumstances, how you deliver with, truly in context to the relevance 
of your culture, relevance to your history. I wish uh, our people, our architects and artists, you know, you cannot uh, think of any formula requirement for creative process. But there are always the feelings involved. There are always the emotions involved. There is always any creative process it has to have some kind of a direction, some kind of an objective, some kind of a purpose. The purpose for me is like a prey to improve this country, the people of this country, their environment, their taste, their uh, the inner outer uh, the psyche of their life. So this has been uh, the effort behind any and every design that whoever is in contact as a user or whoever appreciate, whoever comes in contact with your product, with your design, with your concept, with, uh, should benefit from your process, your struggle. It should benefit from uh, our thinking. And that is to, first of all, it is to be relaxed and being joyous with your country. Feel free. So I am not in favor of any kind of, uh, you know, like complexes about Pakistan. I think this is number one civilization on earth. It is the oldest civilization on earth, like in this valley, like you go, you go further beyond that limits. So there is uh, uh, the cities like Lahore, Multan, the cities like Hyderabad, the cities like you go anywhere around Punjab, after every, uh, like Sahibal, like uh, 50 kilometer, 100 kilometer, it is the memory of the history. It is the heritage calling you for sharing the experiences of the various cultures and various civilization. We have the combination of all religions. We have a combination of most of the, even you see, Alexander the Great was around two and a half or three thousand years ago. So this is uh, the wonderful culture, the wonderful history, wonderful people, wonderful process to think and grow up with it. So I, I feel that you, we don't lack any substance to learn. The God has blessed this country with all knowledge, all experience, all materials. Um, science, technology, okay, you go for the relevance, you can share the like computer, like digital processes, like uh, space uh, technology, all is being shared now globally like it takes 20 years, 30 years, 40 years to adapt to the various dimensions of uh, technology and science. But once your culture is gone, everything is gone. For example, we have Dubai. Dubai, you can see is entirely a planted uh, exercise by the architects, designers and the people of the West. So it's a crime. It's an architectural crime. It is the crime of the civilization. It's a slavery kind of a thing. This is 
interfering the privacy of a civilization, the privacy of a country, imposing uh, your concept, uh, your ideas. So I believe that we are lucky enough that we have the time to exercise the reasonable freedom. I'm not against the global village or sharing any international dimension of cooperation and understanding and friendship, but not at the cost of the culture, not at the cost of the original value of our civilization, not at the cost of the original theme of our system of learning. So, if people uh, of Pakistan, I think they are capable enough to teach the entire world how to live with the environment. We have 70% uh, of our economy is based on agriculture. But the most natural, humble people on earth are our agriculturists. You see the landscape, you see the trees, you see the kind of a substance they generate and create. And still Lahore is going on well with the landscape, so with the nature, with the environment. I believe Pakistani people can become the best teacher to, to the rest of the world, to how to live with the nature and how, how to respect the nature and have the wonderful coexistence. So Daya Dada Associates over there, we try to deliver the maximum awareness. The choice is with the client. But our effort, our dealing is focused on our values which is positive or whatever is relevant and logical system. We try to convince most of the clients that if you go for this kind of uh, character in the value system, so that's more logical, more relevant. So we have total understanding with our clients. They're not bad, they're not good, they're not very good. You know, you don't find like, nobody has asked me to design uh, the house like I've designed my house. Because there is no exhibitionism, there is no show off, there is not that artificial drama of materialistic values. It's all uh, going back into the culture, into the history, in the heritage in the conservation, in the joyous values of being in Lahore, I've expressed that. So I don't know why, but it will take some time. You have to create more and more examples for the people. Okay, what is Pakistan? What is relevant for Lahore? What is logical for us? The architect has the moral responsibility to educate. Yeah, create the awareness.